We manufacture hydro turbines from 50 kilowatts up to uh, about 20 megawatts. The largest machine we've done recently is a 15.6 megawatt turbine in Alaska. So we work all around the world. Uh, about 30 to 40 percent of our market at the moment is the UK. The UK is a very buoyant market at the moment because of the uh, new government feeding tariff subsidy uh, that came into effect last year. So there's a lot of projects that are suddenly there's a, bit of a, a real upsurge of interest since, since last February when they announced the rates. multi-megawatt machines so they have to be running 24 hours a day, 7 days. So what we've got here is uh, obviously a, a new weir that they've put in. Uh, the, there's a, a particular type, it's called a coanda screen and uh, it's a fine one millimetre mesh and it uses the coanda effect which is to do with surface tension of the water which, which actually draws the water through the screen. It's a low maintenance or maintenance free screen. The water drops through the screen and then it comes down the penstock and which goes in as straight a line as possible down the hill. It will bend then slightly down the hill obviously into the powerhouse. It cost about £90,000 to build the scheme here. Um, the turbine would have been about £15,000 worth of that. It's making about £6,000 a year so it's sort of um, Double the income or treble the income of the, the hill farm. How does it manage the um, synchronisation with the grid then? It will have a, an auto sync unit within the panel which basically looks at the grid frequency um, when the turbine comes up to speed. It will modulate the, the spear valve to bring that back in line with the, syn the synchronous um, speed and then it will close the breaker when it's in, within tolerance. Once, it, once that breaker is closed, it will be fixed to the grid frequency and it won't change because it's um, the grid is much bigger and much stronger than, than the turbine is even down um, you know the end of a long arm the grid like long sled will be you know um, especially one of this size you know if it was a megawatt machine down here then um, we could actually help help the grid control the frequency and things down here if need be and make so often when we put them into the highlands we by adding the turbine at the end of the grid, we're making the whole area more stable and you know, the locals like it because they get less grid trips and they get less power cuts than they used to. So um, we had, it's actually a benefit and, the, and the, grid, the, the grid companies do appreciate that as well. So um, they tend to be more favorable to a hydro station going in where we can control the frequency and things for them or assist them with that. Mm -hmm.